I'm Pam Seidel in York Region, where drag racing is a serious and growing problem. And it was a possible drag racing incident in Michigan that has left Cassandra Hunter, a young newlywed from Innisfil, Ontario, dead, and her husband in serious condition. Our investigation so far um, pretty much points to that there was two cars that were on the freeway side by side. Um, the Mazda, which was the car that Ms. Hunter was in, was in the middle lane, and the other vehicle was in one of the other two lanes. They were right next to each other, so they may have been talking. Um, we know that they were traveling at a lower rate of speed. We yeah. don't know how slow they were going. We've heard reports that they were drag racing. That is not, we don't have any evidence or indication of that, but we're looking into it. The 27-year-old woman was a passenger in the black 1984 Mazda. Her husband, identified in a Facebook post as 29-year-old Joseph Spatero, was driving at about 1.30 Sunday morning when the crash happened. Local police say possibly as a result of them slowing down on the highway, an F-150 truck crashed into the back of their car, causing it to burst into flames. The 35-year-old driver of that truck was arrested on suspicion of drunk driving. According to Facebook, both Hunter and Spatero were racing and car fans. There are photos of souped-up vehicles on their pages, and Spatero seemed to regularly ra race at a track. Police do believe he and the other driver who had slowed down beside him had been participants at the weekend's popular Woodward Dream Cruise, which is a car show featuring hundreds of classic and racing-type cars. You will see drag racing you know, from time to time, or people doing burnouts, or, you know, not obeying the traffic laws. So someone may have made the assumption that these cars were drag racing, but we don't know that just because of the, it was during the Dream Cruise. Now, police in Michigan tell me the driver of the second car is cooperating with them and that charges may be pending against him and Spadero, Spadero if their investigation reveals that they were breaking the rules of the road. Now, drag racing is a serious issue in most jurisdictions, including here in York Region. In fact, police have identified this intersection of Snow Boulevard and Pippin Road in the Jane and Langstaff area as one of the hot spots for street racing. In an initiative dubbed Eliminate Street Racing on Streets Everywhere or Erase, this was one of the intersections they targeted on Friday night and they laid a whopping 104 charges. How concerning is this for York Regional Police? Uh, well, some of the incidents we've seen, um, drivers are, are driving at very high rates of speed in some cases, um, or, you know, driving a vehicle with modifications that make it, it completely unsafe to even be on the roadway. Uh, so it's certainly concerning for drivers. Um, we want to make sure that we encourage citizens to call us and report uh, activity that might be connected to street racing. So we know in some cases that um, drivers will meet up at certain locations and arrange to, uh, to do a, a race. Um, if people see something that they think might be this type of activity, we strongly encourage you to call us so we can go and intervene uh, before before it potentially causes an accident. Now, police say that while excessive speed is a major factor in numerous fatal collisions here in York Region, it's a lucky thing there were no injuries on Friday night.